It is a prime piece of real estate along Highway 41, and some say it's a mess. Dozens of wrecked cars and other equipment litter the property in Outagamie County. Fox 11 Investigates looks at the property and what's being done about it. Robert Hornacek is here with what he found. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Rachel. This is a, pro a property most of our viewers have probably seen. It's located along the west side of Highway 41 in the town of Kakana, right across the highway from the way station. And government leaders have been trying to clean it up for years. Drive along Highway 41 and it's hard to miss. Old cars with smashed out windows, rusty old trucks, cranes, even a boat. Thousands of people drive by this property in the town of Kakana every single day. People like Melissa aren't. It seems like every time I drive by I notice something new out there that I didn't notice before. Like today I noticed a school bus out there. There's even an old house that looks like it's falling apart. That caught the attention of one of our viewers who asked Fox 11 to look into the property. In an email, the viewer says it's been bothering him for over a decade. He asks, why hasn't anyone demanded this be torn down? If you just take one look at this property, you can tell a lot of this stuff has been here for a very long time. Now, no one knows exactly how long it's been here, but we can tell you that much of this equipment has been on this property for decades. John Alfieri is the chairman of the town of Kakana. It's an eyesore. He says the town had no ordinance in place to stop the old cars and other equipment from piling up on the property. And when the town finally created an ordinance to deal with the issue in the mid-1980s, it was too late. All we can do is tell him that um, don't add any junk to it, but he's grandfathered in. So now the town's hands are tied. It's frustrating on one hand because you know people call up and say, what are you doing about it? And they don't like the answer when I said, say I can, I'm doing what I can. Is there really anything the town can do about that property? No. Nothing? Nothing. Now coming up tonight on Fox 11 News at 9, we'll talk to a state lawmaker about the property and find out how the state has tried to address this situation. And if you'd like to see what this property has looked like over the years, you can go to our website, fox11online.com, and click on the Investigate section, and there you'll find some historic aerial views from out of Gaming County. Interesting. I, I know exactly where this is. I drive by it all the time. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought that house was going to be restored, that someone had moved it there to restore it, yeah. but it just keeps deteriorating. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. And actually, the state of Wisconsin actually purchased the house and several acres of the property when they put the frontage road in the highway, but the state of Wisconsin says that the owners purchased it back and moved the house to its current location. So, yeah, that, that happened in the 1990s, but again, that ordinance that was passed by the town was in the 1980s, and the okay. town chairman says the property was already like pretty much like it is today mm. back then really there's nothing that can be done you know that that was the main question I asked this town chairman in the town of Kakana and he says look I get that question a lot from a lot of people who drive by this property and you know we have this ordinance mm -hmm. but it was written bef after the property had already gotten like that and he said it's kind of like a weedy lawn if a neighbor has a weedy lawn with all kinds of weeds growing on it and the ordinance doesn't cover that there's nothing the town can do about it. Hmm. So that's it. while the town would like to have it cleaned up, while a lot of people drive past and say, I wonder when that's going to get cleaned up. They're We're really, going to still, we'll be waiting. It'll be there. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Thanks, Robert. And we'll watch for Robert's full report tonight on Fox 11 News at 9.